This video is about cellulose ethers and their applications in paper conservation. It is shown how to prepare them and what needs to be taken into account. Cellulose ethers come in the form of white to yellowish powder or granules. In cold water they swell in the form of cells, then become liquid and eventually form a gel when the gelation point is exceeded. There are various types of cellulose ethers which differ in their properties based on the ether group. Cellulose ethers are selected depending on the object and plant conservation measure. Each cellulose ether differs in viscosity grade. This means that cellulose ethers with the same concentration can differ in their viscosity. Let's take tylose as an example. A low viscosity tylose MH50 will flow very quickly. Tylose MH1000 has a higher viscosity and flows noticeably slower. Tylose MH30000 is highly viscous and depending on the concentration it may even come in the form of a rigid gel. Cellulose ethers are widely used in paper conservation. They can be applied as adhesives for mending tears and filling holes. However, they are also suited for the consolidation of loose paint layers. When used in highly concentrated form, they can be used as a gel for the removal of adhesives and stains. They can also be used to resize paper. Besides the selected cellulose ether, following supplies are needed. Demineralized water, beakers or screw top jars, a petri dish, a spatula as well as a hot plate with a magnetic stirrer, magnetic stir bars and a scale. The cellulose ether powder and the water are weighed. The concentration and the quantity of each used material depend on the object and the type of application. Although cellulose ethers can be prepared in cold water, it is better to use warm water, otherwise lumps will form quickly. Eventually, these will dissolve if the mixture is left to stand overnight. However, this will result in additional waiting times. To avoid lumps, heat the water first to at least 60 degrees Celsius. The water should not boil. Then add the powder to the warm water while stirring constantly. The powder will disperse in the water and dissolve as soon as the mixture cools down. Meanwhile, continue to stir the mixture. Once the powder has completely dissolved and the solution has cooled, the prepared cellulose ether is ready for use. The hot, cold method allows the mixture to cool faster, reducing the preparation time. First, about one third of the weighed water is poured into a glass. Next, the glass is heated from 80 degrees Celsius to 90 degrees Celsius on a hot plate. The cellulose ether powder is stirred in slowly. Once the powder is dispersed, the mixture is removed from the hot plate. At this point, it is easier to stir the highly viscous mixture by hand. Now the remaining cold water is added and stirred with a glass rod until a smooth solution is formed. The cooled solution is now ready for use. Clucel is a particular type of cellulose ether 
as it is soluble in other solvents, such as alcohol, as well as water. When working with alcohols, use the appropriate protective equipment, that is, protective glasses, gloves, and a lab coat. For example, Clusel powder is added to the isopropanol while stirring. To prevent the alcohol from evaporating during stirring and thus changing the concentration, the jar is closed. Clusel prepared in alcohol is particularly suitable for water-sensitive objects, such as transparent papers. There are several types of cellulose ethers with different chain lengths. These result in varying viscosity depending on the concentration. The selection and concentration of the cellulose ether depend on the object and type of application. Also, there are different ways of preparing cellulose ethers. As a general rule, they should be prepared in warm water to prevent the formation of lumps. Clusel is soluble in both water and alcohol so it can also be applied to water-sensitive objects.